All right, sorry about that. I'm on my way. Where are you? Engine room's on fire. I can't move. And she's sleeping like an angel. A real angel. Riley, hang in there. I'm fine. Hearing your voice takes my mind off it. Okay. Well, what, what can we? I know. Let's talk about Hoffin. Hoffin? I want to go home. And we will. Really, really soon. You're gonna rebuild that factory, right? You remembered. I was serious, you know. I've got big plans. Ideas to patent. Inventions to design. If I can just get the money. I could start any time. God, here I am, burning to death. And I'm talking shop. Can we talk about something romantic? Uh, sure. How about the Star Child Festival? Yeah, not bad. But we can't get those medals anymore. We're all grown up now. Whereas the Kai are gone. Some parts of childhood you can only appreciate as an adult. When we get back, let's make some new memories. Happy ones. Sounds nice. We need lots of memories. On the battlefield. But those ones are... kind of depressing. Riley! We've got so many happy memories to make back in Hoffen. You and me together! Riley? Uh... Riley! This scene here I think is pretty cool. <laughs> Thought it was cool the first time I saw it. An original ending here. Still waiting to see what's new though. All right, time to escape. The Azure Light is mine, and mine alone. But if I can't have it, no one can. Lord Belga. Oh, Nicola. Thank God you came back to me. Did you fail? No, of course not. I have so much left to do. Hurry and help me up. We need to get to the Centurion and... I fail, Lord Belgar. You are a failure. Nonsense! I never fail. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. I know. Let's go together. <laughs> Good girl. Now, there's no time. Let's hurry. Don't be scared. I'll only hurt for a moment. The self-destruct switch? When did you... No more failures. Just like you wanted. Just like you programmed her. Kiara is waiting for us. Come, Lord Belgar. N Nicola, stop! Don't you dare! I command you! Bye, Belgar. And a tragic end to <sighs> young life. I can't lose 
lose them too. Not them too. Please, no. Raz. Brother. Save them. You have to help them. <coughs> It's only a matter of time. Don't give up yet. No different from what we always do. When things are at their worst, we find a way through. That's true. That's Squad E. Our friends are always there for us. But we're alone. We're stuck alone on the ship and there's no one left to save us. <sighs> the end, isn't it? He's right. We only made it this far because of our friends. Our squad. Their hopes. Their dreams. Their sacrifices. Now it's my turn to be a sacrifice. And that's all there is to it. Hey, Raz. Looks like I did get a little stronger. I'm sorry that it... it wasn't strong enough. <laughs> I tried, man. I gave him my best shot. I swear. My only guess to that line is he's talking about the Centaurian. It's the only one that makes sense to me. He served us well. So, I haven't seen any difference yet. Um, maybe it's after the credits. <coughs> Alright, anyway, so, these are going to be my final thoughts on this game. I know I did this kind of prior, but one last time. Valkyria Chronicles 4, it was probably one of my favorite games from uh, last year. I really enjoyed it. Um... I had a lot of fun in this game. I put over 186 hours into it. I played maps over and over again. I A ranked everything you can A rank in this game. <laughs> Killed everything you can. Um, I enjoyed all the characters in the game for the most part. Um, I love the squad stories. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like, like Valkyria Chronicles 4, 2. But one of my favorite things was that you got to learn a lot about each of the characters that was a member of that squad. And I feel like they did a pretty good job in this game as well at it. 
I do wish there was more interactions with the squad on a regular basis. But that being said, I really enjoyed all the squad members. Said there were some standouts for me. Uh, Vancey, of course. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. There was Vancey. There was uh, uh, Raz's friend. I can't. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, Jimmy. Uh, Godwin, Nico, uh, Lily, you know, the, uh, the three, uh, the, basically the three, uh, wild cards of, uh, Viola, Emmy, and, uh, ah, I cannot remember his name, Mohawk guy, <laughs> Simon, I think his name was Simon, um, you know, a lot of characters in this game I really enjoyed, and then you had the main cast, uh, I liked Minerva, I liked, uh, Yes, she was a bitch, but I did enjoy your character regardless. Claude, I liked uh, Raz, who took me a while to warm up to, but I finally did get around to really liking him quite a bit. Kai, I liked the entire game. I do think that she got off a little easy uh, from basically the, tra the traitor move that she made. That being said, I did like where they, go, they went with her storyline, though. Um, the other Kai... Um, I wish that he would have been kind of told a little earlier than he was, because it would—I think it would have helped uh, out with his motivations more. We get his motivations so far at the end of the game that by that time you're just kind of like, just get on with it. You know what? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, Angie, I liked quite a bit. Um, Riley's the one character in the game that I felt like was all over the place. Sometimes I really liked her. Sometimes I didn't care. just kind of all over the place uh claude he was great uh not the most fantastic main character i ever came across but i did like his development from starting off as kind of a coward to uh becoming well a commander and uh i thought it was done pretty well as for your uh, antagonist claus is by and far my favorite of uh all valkyrie chronicles villains um, very, very charismatic. Uh, very fun to play against. I loved taking on the Vulcan every time. It was always just fun. Crimeria, I found interesting. Uh, I don't know if she's... Severia was very good. Was a very good character in the first game. But I thought uh, Crimeria was pretty interesting and all right. Um, the, uh, the twins uh, were interesting characters that I really wish I knew more about. Uh, they were sadistic, but they also had enough uh, sympathy that I could give to them uh, for this, the uh, programming that basically they were given. Belgar was probably the, le the weakest villain. He was basically just, I am the villain. And <laughs> there was a lot more to him than that. Um, he was alright, but by and far, it was the one that I was just kind of like, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know? um, just not that interesting of a character, to be honest with you. Um, the crew of the Centurion was pretty cool. Uh, I liked Luff, even though we got very, very few uh, scenes with her. Um, Brian rubbed me the wrong way, but he, I eventually did warm up to him. Uh, Sergey was awesome. Um... I can't remember his name. The, the engineer dude. He was cool. Uh, the captain himself uh, it created kind of a moral quandary to me uh, what he was going on. I know I made a lot of jokes about drinking in this game with him. I mean, the guy's name's Captain Morgan. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard not to. But one thing I did like is that uh, there's a clear indication that he is sorrowful of his past and doesn't want to repeat mistakes. All right, so here's our first cutscene of uh, something that happened. As for the uh, uh, the war between the Federation and the Empire, one thing I really like about this game is they don't cookie cutter around what the Federation is. It is every bit as evil as the Empire is. The only difference, you're controlling the characters of the of the Federation. 
That's really it. Because uh, the Empire also has ma weapons of mass destruction on their own side. They had the Valkyria and also the uh, Azure, Azure Flame, which was demonstrated by Severia in the first game. Crimeria here, of course, you know, she is also extremely powerful as well. Um, the game liked to tackle quite a few issues. Uh, there were a few things that uh, I think that it could have done better. Uh, one whole chapter could have been completely edited out, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, that would have been uh, the one where you're going to help the rebels or the whatever, the Ula Resistance. That whole chapter could have just been cut out and you wouldn't really miss anything that much. Uh, now, one thing that does bother me in this game is the locking cutscenes behind post content. Um, <coughs> the main reason is because I think it's detrimental to some of the characters' character development, mainly Riley and uh, Claude's. Their relationship wasn't bad, but it needed more screen time. And uh, what we got was, you know, after post content, there was a great scene where. They're on the ship together, watching the lights in the air, the Aurora Borealis, pretty much. And it's a great scene. It works really well towards the uh, development of the relationship. However, by the way, why does she have shoes still? Anyway. You know, it, it could have used some more, it could have used some more screen time. Kai and Raz's relationship I really enjoyed quite a bit. Um, it's too bad that we didn't get to see it go anywhere. Ironically, any character I think would work better for Claude would have been Minerva, which is bizarre, I know, but it would have, uh, I think it would have worked a little more because they had polar opposites in a lot of ways. Um, there was a strong feeling of, there was a strong feeling between the two. I think this thing, I just think it would have worked better for the romantic subplot. Still haven't seen anything different yet. <laughs> But yeah, overall, I really did enjoy this game. I really did like it. Uh, and if they ever make another Valkyrie Chronicles 5, I will definitely play it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up so y'all can finish the, uh, the cutscenes. When we first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... Through all the hope, all the tragedy. The things I hold on to are the memories of my friends, of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Okay, here we go. Something new. <laughs> oh, I guess she uh, lost her. Why oh, no, she was shot through this. Uh, wait, I don't know. No, she was walking. Oh, okay, she can walk. Okay.
And it cuts you off right there at Florida Kiss. But yeah, I mean, overall, I like this game. Awesome game. If you ever get a chance to play it, play it. It is fantastic. Um, great game. Great game. <coughs> Everybody should be alive now. <laughs> I know none of the DLC characters show up, so we have that. Oh, that's another thing. The DLCs. Um, real quick. Uh, the Valkyria DLC of uh, the two Valkyria was awesome. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Eddie's detachment, I wish there was more to it than just a map and just getting Eddie. Uh, the squad reunites, or Scott, squad seven united, a united front, was awesome. Um, the captain of the squad was awesome. The uh, beach to the beach scenario, awesome. So this game has some really good DLC as well. And a lot of it added to the story in ways. So I enjoyed that a lot too. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save. We get anything? Anything at all. We'll go ahead and do a quick load. Just to see if we did get anything. Hey, we got a new battle screen. With a star. <coughs> All right. Headquarters has Oi. decorated you with this medal. Congratulations. <coughs> Rare chronograph. Huh. And personnel has been updated. All right, one last thing before we end. Because I got to know, what was updated in the personnel? Private quarters. Okay, so Claude. Uh, Inberg's Army's first lieutenant, age 22, commander of Squad E from the city of Hoffman and Gallia. Keenly attuned to changes in climate and weather, graduated as valedictorian for the military academy. While serious and responsible, he is a spacey side to him and enjoys watching the clouds. As a child, he was very timid and ended up falling for someone, failing someone he cared for. His enlistment has spurred, was spurred by a desire to change this part of himself. After he refused to bomb the capital, headquarters deemed him unfit for the burdens of command and stripped him of his title. Even so, he has no regrets. Upon return to Hoffman with Riley, he helps him rebuild the Miller Company's factory as a manager. With help and familiar chaos from former squaddies. Former squaddies. Like I said, the Federation is fucking evil. <laughs> Edberg Army 2nd Lieutenant. Age 21. Squaddy Grenadier. Gren Grenadier. Uh, from the city of Hoffman and Gallia. She seems to share some painful history with Claude. Brilliant, chipper, and prideful, she gets along well with kids, and she enjoys research and inventing. Though her experiments can be a bit volatile, she resented Claude for a long time for his choices as a child. However, now that she uh, sees how much he's changed, her bitterness is fading. Partly out of vengeance, she spent the time in Vin Vinland, refining the Ragnite technology for use against the Empire. Now she questions those choices. Despite her grave injuries, she managed to recover and return to Hoffman. Claude proposes at the Starship Star Child Festival, and she accepts with a quiet nod. So they get married. Cool. Uh, anything else? No. All right, then. So that's it. Apparently. And I'm just missing one frickin' metal. Ugh. So annoying. Anyway. So that's going to be it for this playthrough. Uh, the next playthrough will be uh, starting up pretty soon. Um, it will be Kingdom Hearts two, uh, 3. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that game. Um, 
I've already finished it. <laughs> but I'm hoping that y'all enjoy it regardless. See, I, it was a great game. But we're going to get to that when we get to it. Valkyria Chronicles 4, complete, done. We are finished. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm the Renegade Gamer. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Well, I'll see you in the next one, I guess.